Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand this review is about MIT University and Bangalore. Before that overall uh, MIT University which is based out of Noida and Delhi NCR region. It's one of the top notch institute and the NRF ranking in 2023 batch was 35. So 35th best college in India. And apart from that, they have also been rated in different agencies like under number one in private university by India Today and so many other, you know, national and the international recognitions which you can see here. In terms of strength, you know, almost like 7 lakh alumni of, uh, you know, MIT University are there globally. So it's quite a 20 plus year old college and it has large number of, you know, universities in located in different parts of India and the international locations. So like 2 lakh students have enrolled in MIT University from different parts of the country and the world. And 6,000 plus faculty and scientists and around 1,800 patents filed by different group faculty which are part of their end. So I am only specifically talking about the MIT University in Bangalore which was started in 2018 as a state private university in Bangalore. So the Bangalore campus also similar to other you know campuses across India. Bangalore campus is also state of art 60 acres campus ne located near Bangalore airport, right? So these are some of the you know facilities which are located in Bangalore campus near Camp Agoda International Airport. It has got the new age you know library with 4,000 plus books and 600 seater campus hostel. His facilities also available 500 seater auditorium. And then different four acres of sports complex with all the facilities, tennis court, cricket, football, etc. are all there. So if you specifically talk about the Bangalore campus, a total 100 plus distinguished faculty and scientists and staff are there in Bangalore campus. And they do participate in a lot of, you know, events across, you know, mentorship and the conversation programs. And they have 20 plus high tech labs for study in Bangalore and tie up with some of the companies like IBM or Oracle Sun Microsystem for studies purpose. So this is overall a short glimpse of the Bangalore campus which is located out of the Vanali area as you can see. Good in terms of uh, infrastructure facilities, modern and sports facilities, yoga, all those are quite decent and this is one of the picture of their MIT University student meetup and these are some pictures from the internal meetup and the college functions fest. So this is just a glimpse and I'll directly move to the courses part of it. So 24 admission process is on and you can study here uh, in a biotechnology, commerce, computer science, IT and then engineering options, fashion design, law, management courses, then the pharmacy and the psychology courses. So those are some students may be watching from other streams but I'll talk more about engineering in the later part of the video but other streams are also there. So in for the management students there is like BBA and BBA CMA which is certified management accounting practice with the USA recognition. Then there is a BBA twinning program with international degree and also they have a decent MBA program in Bangalore. On the commerce side, you can do BCom honors in Bangalore. And if you are from science stream, you can do a BSc biotechnology, BE Tech biotechnology, and MSc biotechnology. So all of these are biotechnology streams. Now coming to the computer science IT, they do offer bachelor BC in Bangalore campus and MSc cyber security. All are computer IT related courses. And some more options like MSc data science is also available, MCA for those students who don't want to do engineering degree but they are looking for computer based degrees and these are the options you can formalize. Fashion, there is BDES in fashion design. There is also a law campus, so integrated BA, LLB course with honors, LLB honors and the LLM master's course. Now I will talk specifically about the BTEC programs which are also available in the campus. So BTEC you can do in the streams like Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning, Bangalore Campus, Computer Science Engineering in BTEC. You have BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering, ECE. And then you have BTEC in Embedded Systems and VLSI Design, BTEC Computer Science Engineering with training program for the international degree 
if you are looking for that and apart from that one stream you have also mtech which is mtech in computer science engineering so those are overall options now mit is a new college so it offers good number of merit based scholarship so ug courses including engineering right you see it's offered on the 10 plus 2 basis so if you are scoring 93 percent and above marks in class 10th you can claim 100 percent scholarship so that is quite good 88 percent and above marks also you can claim 50 percent scholarship and even if you are 80 percent and above marks you are getting around 25 percent scholarship for all the ug programs including engineering now you see the pg program right uh, like uh, 93 per 93 percent marks if you are got in class 10th right and 80 percent in graduation then you are again eligible for 100 percent scholarship but if you got 88 percent in your 10 plus 2 and similarly 75 percent in graduation at least then still you are eligible for some 50 percent scholarship so that way you will save money now the MBA related scholarship was not included but for MBA also they do provide scholarship like 100% scholarship for those students who got the CAT MAT percentile of 90 and above and GMAT score of 650 right and GRE scores of 161 then those case you get 100% for 50% scholarship right you should get at least CAT MAT score of 85% percentile and GMAT of 600 GRE of minimum 157 and even for 25% scholarship you can get by CAT MAT percentile of 80 and 500 in the GMAT and 150 scores in the GRE so that is available for MBA courses as well now you will also want to know about the placements so as I said this is a pretty new university it was started in 2018 and the engineering course is even more new and it just started in last year so there is no placement record but if you go to their website they claim that these are the typical companies which are visiting other MIT university campus and the seniors of this college are studying there right so this may the maybe the representative companies where college will try to get students place there and bringing them on the campus but these are not the real companies which have visited till date these are the MET overall university companies not the MET Bangalore specific companies right so that is the overall details which are available as of now and this is a new campus for other courses also this is completely new campus so thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates take care and bye